Welcome to another episode of High Frequency Convo. I'm your host, Wes Hunt, and this is my big brother, slash business partner and co-host. That's the God. And this is the podcast where we spark blunts and conversation, and this is episode 27. 27, which is 9. And 9 is what? 9 is, nine is the highest number of change. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie, I used to study 5%, but mm-hmm. right? it kind of, a lot of this yeah. shit slipped my mind. But, um, yeah, you know what I mean? I know 9 is and the highest number of change. And it's also, it's one of the guy numbers, 3, yeah, three, six, three nine. 6, and a 9. 3, 6, 9, because both those, those, those numbers all come back to 3, 6, or 9, because of the Bible itself. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, a lot of y'all, it's a feat for us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right now, he's going to do some fact checking to make sure he gave out the right thing, but that, that's, that is definitely the highest number change. It's definitely a guy number. He's going to do some fact checking. That's a fact. I know that's a I, that's I, I like to give you the supreme mathematical. Uh, but he's going to give you some the, that, the, that the supreme. Begin. Okay, see? Yeah, it's God. Not, seven not, is God. Not, no, seven is God. But I want you to see the nine. Born. Nine is born. See, it's almost the same thing as um in the other lessons when they say, you know what I'm saying, nine is the highest number of change. Nine is born. You know what I'm saying? There is no ten. Everything recycles back again. You know what I'm saying? So we hit a we we hit a feet. We started to sit up twice. We started to sit up a preview, you know what I mean? With some ready, some with some with some knowledge, you know what I mean? And like, this is definitely a, a, a accomplishment. I mean, of course it is, because we hit nine twice. With nine when we hit eighteen, the eighteen episode when we hit nine when we hit this episode. So we done did it twice. One more time and then we'll be moving in God. And this episode is about three of those three topics, break it off like that. And the first topic is about belief. Second topic is about love, and third topic is about hate. All right? Let me ask you a question, yes, though. Without, you know what I'm saying? Without even un- even knowing, right? I bet you didn't even know, even when you just said it, I bet you even, was even conscious. You, you know what I'm saying? Without even knowing, you broke down the show into three parts. Oh, so. See? What was that? Right? I just said 369. Wow. And the topic, that's, that's not it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you didn't even know that. So that's how you know the universe is with us. But, um,. We started off, man. We started off deep off the rip. It's how I fix the combo. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Like, share, subscribe. Spam the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Do I got to do it like the YouTubers do it? Hey, welcome to you. Welcome to how I fix the combo. I don't like spam the comments. I got to do it like that. Spam the comments. Man, I mean, like, you like, share, share with your yeah. friends. Share with your family. Share with some of jokes. You know what I'm saying? And laughter. Some laughter. Me. No, I mean, like, some laughter. Yeah. And then you get to hear some cool music at the end. Some great music. You know music. what I'm saying? And Wolfmatic, too. What a segue. Now I mean, a little cheap promotion there, but there's no cheap promotion. This is our channel, motherfucker. So, Wolf Matter 2 coming soon. I've only been saying it for like four years, but we're getting the shit. Okay. Okay. We got four singles already out on SoundCloud for out of Jam and fucking Vibe 2. Oh, under West Hunt LG 01, 01 Word. I have to stop putting the links for the songs in the description. I'm going to do that myself. I'm going to do all the videos, put the links for all the songs in the day in the description. There's a lot of videos now, so it's going to be a lot, but I will do that. And, um, and get ready for the videos because the okay. videos coming yeah. and yeah. we're going to make them real entertaining like the music and like, you know what I'm saying, the podcast. Make yeah. it entertaining so you can laugh and spread some positivity and shit to laugh. And this is hip hop, so, you know what I mean? I like doing hip hop. I don't really like doing rap music. I do hip hop. You know what I'm saying? The artists. You know what I'm saying? Rappers. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? Hip hop is my culture before anything else. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's the art of the whole culture, the music. You know what I'm saying? The the um which I would say the which is DJing and the graffiti and the the writing and that's the art and you know what I'm saying the rapping part which is you know what I'm saying and then you know what I'm saying the dance, the break dancing or you know what I'm saying, dancing periods, it's the culture, the dress, everything's the culture. So I like I, I rap but I love hip hop culture, you know what I'm saying? But that's just another that's an offshoot, footnote. With belief. Belief. So, before we even go to that, man, before we even go to that, actually, since we start with belief, I got, you know, I got, since in, in, the, in, the, in the recent episodes, I like starting off with some of the advice from people you listen to or people that know more than us. And this is, uh, like, this is Steve Harvey saying some realness about Faith and imagination, this, this information came from, or this content came from the outcome, the channel of the outcome. Go and check them out. And I'm going to have other things, you know, the clips I usually do, to make it happen from other people than us, to say the exact same things we're saying. And we ain't biting. You know what I mean? Like, and they ain't biting each other, so, you know what I mean? It has to have some truth to it. Now, Albert Einstein had a quote. He said, imagination is everything. 
It's the preview to life's coming attractions. This is important information. The biggest thing that always troubled me was my imagination. Because it was so big when I was a kid. You know, I grew up poor, but I was always imagining stuff. You know, my mama, once a month, would buy a travel magazine at the grocery store. My father used to be so pissed off. Bill, why are we spending this money? We ain't got, we were poor. She said, Slick, we ain't got no money to take this boy nowhere. But if he can look in these magazines, maybe one day, it'll, it'll, it'll cause him to want to travel. I've been to so many countries around the world because of that magazine. I just wanted to go see stuff. My mama had enough sense to plant that seed in. It's like at Christmas time, we used to get in the car, my daddy used to take us to the suburbs so we could see the lights. And, you know, we just drove around the lights. I could, I was amazed at the suburbs because I would see these big houses with horseshoe driveways. When you drove in and came out the other side. So I told my daddy one time, he's right, I said, Daddy, why don't we get one of them houses? He said, boy, I ain't got no money for that, but that's what I'm bringing you out here for. He said, one day you'll be able to get one of them houses. Let me explain something well, because of that office. right there. I probably had in my lifetime now. They could have got the house. They didn't believe homes. that they could. I got four now in different states. Every house I own got a horseshoe driveway. When they was living, they told me one time, they was sitting up watching TV. My daddy looked at my mama and said, Bill, he called my mama Bill and said, can you believe that this little boy we had on TV? She said, Slick, I can't believe this. I used to send my daddy $5,000 a week. You know, when I first got on TV, I was making $55,000 a week, so I sent my mom in $5,000 a week. When I got into Kings of Comedy, my father was still living. I showed my daddy one time how much money I made. He said, boy, it take me four years to make this kind of money. So I was able to give them something with my life. So before my mom and them left this world, I could give them something. That's my whole point, man, and that's should be everybody's thing. That's what I, when you go right into our, our first segment is belief. What does belief mean to you? Because you know, I, it, people might take this in, as religious and and um, but I'm not talking the sense of belief in, in, in religion. But I'm like so. Belief but, is belief. Uh, whatever it means to you, actually, it's your opinion. So what does it mean to you? Well, the belief, it, belief is in everything. So you know what I mean. So. Yeah, you could, you could use it in the sense of religion. You could believe harm in your religion. But what that, I think that right there to me is a problem. I know I always attack religion. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe religion is the Tower of Babel. And you know what I mean? Allegorically speaking. You know what I mean? But belief is almost determination. In a drive where you're completely focused and you know no matter what that you're on a journey. Oh yeah. You're on a journey. You know what I'm saying? And this, Yeah, you're on a journey and the journey that you want. You're on a journey and the journey that you want. You know what I'm saying? That in order to get through the journey, you gotta believe in the journey and believe in yourself. No matter how hard it gets through that journey. You cannot take that, you know me, from personal experience and believe in somebody else more than you're going to believe in yourself because other people will always disappoint you and you can't put belief in something outside of yourself and not go within yourself and believe. So belief is everything. You know what I'm saying? You got to wake up in the morning and believe it's a beautiful world because that's the world you're going to create. You got to believe that everything that you're doing today is going to be beneficial for tomorrow. So belief is everything. I, you know what I mean? To me, without belief, then you got nothing. You, 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 don't have, you, don't, you, you, you don't dream no more. You have no imagination. You have no destination. You move aimless. I think, and I agree, I define belief as uh, such a strong faith or knowing of something that you knowing. can't see. Good name, good word, knowing. You can't see, smell, touch, taste. Everybody thinks you're crazy. You kind of think you're crazy. But it's that thing that you, you can't explain or explain to others. 
Or you can't even explain yourself that's within you that you just always felt that you know is either for you or that something that exists or it's the knowing of something that's not that that, that don't have no evidence. Like I said to my man um Les Brown, he's a motivational speaker now, and he was saying um he was homeless and he's going through the struggle like that. He said. He said, but he got to the point once he got clarity. There's some clarity with this crazy. We got to the point once he got clarity. Even when he was homeless, he didn't take showers for days and eat. And people, he's one of my people still in shit. He said he got to the point that he didn't even give a fuck because he knew where he was going. I don't know what you mean by that. That knowing comfort in me. This is temporary. <laughs> he like, it, it made, before he was like, oh God, what the fuck is going on? He said, oh God, you'll be homeless. He like, God, I just went back and said, nah, nigga, you homeless. <laughs> but I hope. Now I mean, so like, I understand what he meant. Like, it's the knowing. When you know something, even though people think you're crazy, because this shit we're doing is either inspiring or people think we just jumping out the window now. This day, that shit ain't gonna do nothing. But I know it will. It already has. It already has. But I know it will do the thing that I, I visited in my mind when I first thought of it. The completion of it. The completion of it, the nine. I know it will reach the nine. Mm -hmm. I like that too. Now I mean, like, I know it's gonna do it. And I know the music will. I know, I, do you know how I know this? Because. Not only I vision it, I felt it, I felt it for years and years. I knew something, I was supposed to do something grandiose since I was a kid. Everybody may want to, but I, and I felt it. That's why I always tried different things with this football, wrestling, this, that, and that. I always wanted to, and I always knew why I lacked was the discipline. You know what I mean? But not every every other thing, but I have to jump back and forth. Faith means to me the knowing of something that you can see, smell, touch, or taste. But you know. Just as well as you know the sun is gonna rise tomorrow. Just as you know that if you get rain again, you get wet, do you know? You and know you sound why? crazy. Everybody sound crazy right now, but No, but you, you know, know why? Because there is you see, in the beginning, you did you, you you're going off of um maybe not having evidence, right? But in actuality, there's evidence that what you're saying and what and and having belief is evidence of it. And the evidence of it is the last thing you just said before I, uh, I cut you off. When you said, the sun's going to rise tomorrow. Right? And you believe the sun's going to rise tomorrow because there's evidence been shown to you that the sun's going to yeah. rise tomorrow. Just like there's evidence been shown to us that what we're saying is the truth. It, you know what I'm saying? Why? Because like before the show started, what we was talking about, um... Somebody, when you uh, give, get, gain the jewels, and then when you gain the jewels, executing them to see if it's true. So, so once you've been, once you start the execution, ah, right, let me see if, if I believe my, my, if belief is the actuality, and you will notice that the only time it don't work is when you stop believing. See, what, what, what people, I think, what people get caught up in with, with, with the Thursday belief. It's the work they gotta put in to get to where they gotta get. And also, hell yeah, hundred percent. That's like that's the number one. But um, I'll say that number two is the agenda fight. Is this agenda fuel fueled? Sorry, because I'm learning to speak slow and more clear. Because I used to have to stutter. I speak fast. But it's the agenda fueled bullshit they push it. Almost like I was telling my girl this yesterday. It's like, how the fuck when a baby's learning to walk? Nobody on the planet Earth says when that baby's trying to walk or that baby's failing to walk. Or that baby's failing. It's always all that. Baby. He's trying to learn to walk. He's trying to learn to stand. She's trying to learn to walk. She's trying to learn to stand. When somebody's teaching a kid how to ride a bike, you never believe all oh, my kids feeling about a bike. I'm teaching my kid how to ride a bike. He's learning how to ride a bike. So, how when you fall, fall, and fail, because that's what they're doing. They're generally failing. failing. I hate that. But, too. but I know, but I in, 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 in the aspect, you know what I'm trying to say? In, in the, the aspect, they they're present. failing. Yeah. They, they, they're failing. They fall and they can't get it right. They're learning. But why the fuck is that not, why is that learning? And when you try to get a dream and you keep and you keep falling down, that's a fail. Why is it, why is that learning? Mm -hmm. Is that when you may be in a relationship and you don't get all of it right, but you're working on it, that's failing. You, and that's not learning your, your partner and getting it right. Why is everything failing? Why is because one thing failing and one thing not? Maybe I don't know. Because they want you. Course, they want you. They want you. And when, you, when, you, when, when you don't get to a certain point and you don't get the results that you wanted, they want you to have this belief in yourself so you can vibrate on low frequency. I agree. That's why I don't agree when a child is in school 
that you should mark up as paper with red ink and all of that. How can you say a child failed something or is not when he's learning it? How can I enter the second grade and you give me a test of information that you gave me this week and I may not have gotten a high school with the kid who got the 90. So you think you know and this. rather than really? you, you finding a better way, because I don't got the answer, I'm just saying it should be a better way. Why don't you find a better way than saying, yo, bro, look, da-da-da-da, you say, yo, you failed. You know how discouraging that is to a child who gave their attempt and tried their best to tell them they failed and then you prop up the 90 when both children are learning, because he got faster than him doesn't mean that he can't learn it. I, 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 got, I, got, I got a crazy part. I'm not jumping out the middle of this one. I'm going to explain the best way I can why I feel this way, because as you just told me some real shit, the universe, God, the old, just talk to me. My eyes got to connect with my higher self. So try to figure out which, who's coming in. Either that okay, or it's positive, and it's beneficial. But um, I believe... <laughs> Segue. I believe that belief is the strongest fabric on earth, even more than love. And let me see why I say I that. I think they go hand in hand, but yeah, they I do agree go with hand you. I agree with you 100%. With they, the and I said, and I've never heard that before. A strong fabric of the universe. Cause, belief, and because it creates the imagination. And it creates, the, it creates everything, number one. And two, even to have love, you got to have strong belief in that person. That he's loyal, she's loyal. That they have your back. That they're a good mom or good dad. That they're a good mom for the you don't get love without the strong belief in the other person. Well, I think... You get infatuation. I think... You get lust. But you may get... You get, you get strong like. But you get love. The reason I love my family... Because they proved to me over and over and over and over since I was a baby that they got my back. Now, if I had a family and they proved to me that they don't got my fucking back. And they're going to treat me like shit and they're going to backstab me or they going to molest me or some crazy shit like that. I have no love because I don't believe in them. I don't trust them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't trust them. How am I going to love somebody that I don't believe nor trust? Can I ask you? It's a fascinating thing because I was about to say something. I mean, I know I've never heard about no, saying no, no, about no, this. No, no, what you said said something fascinating and then I thought about something and I was about to say something and I had to stop. I would say like, yo, it's, that shit goes hand. I think it's it definitely goes hand. Because I believe that in order for you to truly love somebody, you have to love yourself. That's guaranteed. I don't believe that you cannot love nobody and believe in nobody else if you can't believe in love yourself. I think it really all, once again, back to the first episode, and always going to be, it comes back to you. If you truly believe in yourself and love yourself, then you can have love and believe in other people. The thing about it is I agree. When you take children now and you harm children at a young age and you don't show them love and you show them the other side of the spectrum, that child will grow up insecure, not trusting of people, not believing in love, and certain things like that. So I agree, yeah. So I agree, yeah. It goes, goes both ways. It really, it goes both ways. But I believe, you know I me. Mean? You see how I keep using the word yeah. "I believe." Yeah. I believe that self-belief in self and self-love in self. If even after, even after you had a horrendous childhood, and it's hard. It is hard, you know what I mean, being molested or being abused as a child to overcome that. But you have to have self-love for yourself and self-belief in yourself to overcome that. And that's hard. I mean, so I guess, you know, you have to, I can't, I have never experienced it. I know people have experienced stuff like that, so I can't tell somebody how to get over something. I fully believe, I believe that you have to find some way to find self-love within yourself and belief within yourself. And then you can overcome a lot, and then you can allow yourself to love and believe in other people. But go ahead, bro. But well, why is it so hard for people to believe? In what aspect? In the in, aspect in, of love aspect. or in the aspect of... In, in every oh, aspect, if really get hurt, for them to believe they get in love. For, if they have a goal, for them to believe they can get it. If they have an aspiration, for them, to believe, for them to believe they can achieve it. It can be as little as them people want I, to work out. I really... People want, want to be able to talk to girls more. I, people that, that I want truly to get, believe... It's I, belief. I truly that, believe. You know why? I know why, bro. You know why? Because when it first starts off, you have to have belief in yourself. That's why. And you have to have belief in yourself. See, like, I, my, like, like, Ethan, right? You know what I'm saying? My little man, Ethan. You know what I'm saying? So, Ethan, now, he's learning to walk, right? He take his time. He gets up. He take his steps. When he take his steps and he walk and he do stuff, he looks around for validation. 
and we we be you know cause he knows he just did something. He can see, he can see, he turn around, smile, like, y'all seen that? And we like, yeah, he feel good about that, right? So I think what it, what really start happening is you lose the reason why people can't believe is because they lose belief in themselves. And once they lost belief in themselves, it makes them hard. So so it's like I was talking to this young nigga the other day, and this nigga was looking to skip past all the rhetoric, cause that's for another show, cause it was some, some simp shit. To skip past all the rhetoric, you know what I'm saying? He went situation with this girl, and he's talking. He's like, yo, for now on, bro, you know what I'm saying? I don't care the next girl I got, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just a, it's about this and that and that. I ain't never gonna love no other girl again. And I'm like, yo, bro, why? Cause da, 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 da. I'm like, you see that? The problem is ain't the girls, bro. The problem is you. You lost belief in yourself. So now because you lost belief in yourself, because you put so much belief into somebody else, and there was never no belief in yourself to begin with. So now when that person is gone, you feel like, oh shit, you lost everything because there was never belief in yourself. You got the pretty girl, you thought you was the man. You, your belief was all in her, and you catered probably to her needs. Your belief, your belief is always external, never internal. Right. So you got to start within yourself. If you believe in yourself, even after that relationship ends, However it ends, whether she cheated on you, whether it just don't work out, you know it's not you. It was the relate if it did if, if it's amicable and it wasn't no cheating involved and y'all just had to go y'all separate ways, you know it wasn't you, you know it was the relationship. If she cheated on you and and if you know it was her, it ain't you. If you cheated on her, you know it's you, it ain't her. So the reality of it, so you be able to get over every situation, like fuck it, yo, there's another girl out there. If you believe in yourself. But once you don't believe in yourself, you're still stuck in that same situation. Like, damn. And belief in yourself you comes from facts and logic. It does. It, 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 it does. Know, it does you know, it's you, not, it's not. Some, some, some from some some, hocus pocus shit. Like, the thing about it is, like, the reason using the same, um, the same example of the girl cheating on you. The reason you will get over it. I'm going to say not to get hurt. We all human. You be hurt well, be for hurt. a little bit. But the reason you will get over it quicker than an average bear. It's because logically, I can't get another bitch, there's no fish in the sea. <laughs> another thing that come up like, there's more people, that's not on me. I didn't end it, it's not on me. The comment that come back to me is gonna come back to her. Yeah. I did everything right, I did everything I was supposed to do, I can leave the show my hell high, she can't say the same. And if he was close to their family, like I said, if it was a long term relationship, and trust me, their family, you know, she, she have to explain why the fuck you ain't together with this nigga no more. Absolutely. And it's all more on her or him, than you're so that you, you move off, off that logic, you, you can easily move on. Versus the fact that I wasn't, it wasn't me. Why did she like me? Yeah. No, it wasn't you. Oh, can real talk, it could have been you. But either way, she should have came to you regardless. Or he should have came to you regardless. So, however it ended. I mean, but you however it ended, believe in it's yourself still... that I'm good. This wasn't, this wasn't meant for me. For me, so the universe allowed me to move on to something that's meant for me. But when one door closes, the other door closes. But you got to believe in that. You also got to believe the seven principles of a Tahuti. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm not sure of what number this principle lies on, but I do know the principle. The swing of the pendulum to the left is going to be as great as the swing of the pendulum to the right. So that's the other thing. You know what I'm saying? You can't expect that once you go this way and you decide now you can't consciously aware of your actions and you're trying to get back this way, that it's going to happen overnight. When you got to that side, it didn't happen overnight. It's going to take work to get back to that side. People lose belief when they have to put in the work. People lose belief when they put belief in other people and other than themselves. Then you, when when the relationship is done or the partnership is done and the business is done, you be like, damn, what am I going to do now? Because you believe there was always somebody else and, it's not, and it was never you. You know what I'm saying? So people got to literally, in order for anything to work right in a relationship, on a job working, or in a business with somebody else, you got to believe in yourself, believe in the position that you're playing, believe in, and know what you, just believe in yourself. Yeah, go ahead. Why is it so hard for people to believe? I'm going back to my answer on the first question on the same topic. It's hard for people to believe because when you don't have a strong knowing for something you can't see, touch, smell, or taste, or hear, it seems fake to you. What seems real to you is your current situation. Why? Obviously, because it's your current situation. You feel it, you're touching, touch it. you're going through it, you're depressed, you broke, you don't got a girl, your girl, this, that. That's why. But, so, to have faith in, that's not like some church shit. And that's the other way to think. Every time somebody think of faith in, come on, I'm going, I, I, I've been praying, I've prayed before, nothing happened. Yeah. Which is always a motherfucker. Because you've been taught to pray wrong. So, and, and you, you're you, praying to the wrong And God. listen, you've been taught to pray wrong. See, the prayer is this, the this our people equivalent to. Is this the, 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 the prayer is the gas, and your action is the engine. 
doing this all day. Faith without works is dead. You take one step towards God, you take two towards you. Blah, 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 blah. Like, all these shit is in the Bible y'all believe in. And you gotta... So it says it in the text. You gotta put some twerk in. For so when you said you have to pray right, after you pray right, you have to It'll come to live you. right. That living right and, and pray right works in unison. And I guarantee you, this is what most people don't understand is this, right? God, this is what most people understand. Because like my man, Billy Carson, right? You know what I mean? And I always knew this, right? But Billy Carson reaffirmed it to me by, by breaking it down. It is, you know, I could deal with it. You know what I'm saying? So like, then the, the, like he said, when you hook, uh, e, uh, I think you said EKG, don't quote me, don't, don't quote me on that for sure. But when you hook EKG up to somebody's head and you want, and they pray in the form they've been taught to pray, the energy that's emitting from it is such a low frequency energy. That's it. Versus that when you hook it up to somebody's head and they're commanded and they believe in, or oh, what you people will call catching the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit, and they are, yeah, and they believe in it, the, the, the frequency that's reading is a higher vibration. But you know what? I just caught a jewel from what you tried to say. That's what you said. Man, I heard the same thing Billy Carson said, and I believe it, and it's not belief you. Yeah, the proof they hook with the AKGs. You, but um, you command what you want into existence. But even for people that pray, the, 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 the traditional prayer, right? And then they be like, yo, I did this, I did this, and it came. Because you know why this got up? You know why commandments work? When you command something? Because you leave no room for doubt. Even if you're praying, you, some people pray to God, please, please. That's, that's 95% of That's people. not how you, even the people that pray, the traditional prayer, but, 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 God, I know you. I, God, I know you I got know me. You gonna I, know you, I know you going to get to me. They are basically commanding. I know you got me. I know you ain't going to let I me I know you down. got me. I don't worry about yeah. my situation. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm good. That's I'm commanding. Good. And every, without, day, yeah, like, and every day they're saying that yep. same thing. And every day they're living like they're good. Yep. They're like, going to get it. And that's why you get misconstrued. Because you have people in their religion almost doing the commandment prayers without them knowing it. And they're thinking that the religion and it's working. was working for them. And y'all doing the same shit. Please, please, please. It's not right. It's not the religion yeah, that's working. Because yeah, you got to understand religion. That's getting shit. The but they praying better. <laughs> you got to understand. They're praying like, way better. Like, my man, you said something earlier. It's like, you got to understand. When you when you have been blessed in the in, in, in the text that I'm prescribed to, where he said you're made in the likeness of God, in the essence of God, right? And when I look in the mirror, I don't look like him. We look similar because we don't be got, you know what I'm saying, we got the same mother and shit. But we don't look exactly identical alike. And when I look in the mirror, I don't definitely don't look like my shorty. When I look in the mirror, I don't look like his shorts. So what do that mean? It means the essence on the inside is in the image and the likeness of God. Meaning, from the all consciousness, what you gonna call a spirit or so forth, whatever the fuck was a consciousness that vibrates. You are a piece of that consciousness, right? So you are a piece of that consciousness in the third dimension and experiencing for the all. So anything that you want, if you command it, if you demand it, it comes to you. You subjecting yourself, acting like what you will want to consider God is higher than yourself appears to the consciousness. I don't recognize that vibration and frequency. The problem is y'all don't understand. It's like uh, um, when you're trying to get into the laptop and you could and, and you got a code on the laptop, you forgot your password and you keep putting in the wrong fucking password and you're like what? And they're telling you um different um they're giving you different what, what, what they're giving you different examples of yeah. what your password was so you can remember it and you still can't remember it see that's what it is when you're praying when you're praying and you please god please can you help me yo that's the wrong password so you're not getting into the computer if you command and demand that you'll be let into the computer because that's what the frequency knows and understands why because the frequency is not it's vibrational energy it's not picking and choosing who's good and who's bad it's only answering to who understands that we are one and the same and if I command what I want I could get it and here's the irony of it what you said the action right here's the here's the thing you don't think about the action because that's false action you understand the action will come to you like you're gonna be laying on your bed you want to be a basketball player you laying on your bed after you command I want to be a great basketball player I'm going to be a great basketball player. You laying on your bed, that, you hear that ball bouncing outside from your next door neighbor, you're going to automatically get up and go outside and bring that ball. But no, 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 not even automatically. The thing about it is why I have to show two people that because for me, it didn't work like that. For me, it's an everyday conscious thing of 
okay, I want to do this. I got to do it. I'm going to tell you right now, 75 to 80% of the time, I'm not in the mood. I'm a laid back nigga that like to chill. You know what I mean? Do nothing. So when you hear that ball, what you're saying is right. Up to the point where you hear that ball. The, purchase, the person that believes in what he was praying for is going to be like, I'm out of the bed. I'm going to go play that ball. The person that is waiting for mm-hmm. that magic person in the sky to put the ball in his hand and put the ball through no. his legs and take the shots no. is going to lay in that bed yeah. and play basketball sparingly and play 2K. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like you were saying earlier, like, I didn't go out of my way to find how to master rackets. But you're sticking at you, though. No, no, Already. No, Already. No, no, no. Mix it, doing this, no, no, doing that, no, no, no. so you're creating that Listen, momentum. But, but, the momentum but that's, brings things. That's, that's a, a, it's magnetism. No, no, no. Right. You gotta create momentum. No, 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 no. But I'm mixing is a different thing. Now, I'm, now, but because I'm on the mission, because I'm on the mission, once you're on the mission, you're dedicated to the mission, it's just gonna start coming. That's it, but yeah, you, you dedicate to the mission and you put it just like how, Just like how many niggas, like you told me the damn bad shit. You know how many people that didn't come to? You know, many people have to go search for that. Because I'm on the mission. Listen, I picked yeah, tons I agree with you. of action. For you to get that shit that drove to you, for you to get that program, you brought tons of action. But I'll so, say this to you again. And belief with the prayer. So, I'll like, say it's this going to you again. Like, I'll say this to you. That's no joke. I, won, I it agree with working. you 100%. But I will say this. Just like Morpheus told Neo, you mean that I'm going to be, you mean, I, you mean I could dodge bullets? No, nigga. When you get to that point, you won't have to. But as I said, we have to get to that point. I understand that. Exactly, which is the action. Like I told you <laughs> earlier, like I was telling you earlier when I said I read the shit with Tesla. He write it down. The morning he wakes up, shit written down for him. I said, try that. It ain't work for me. So I said, well, you know what? Maybe Tesla w- was on another level that I'm not on. But let me try what he said in another fashion. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe. When I get to that next level, I'm going to write shit down on paper and it's going to be right. on paper for But when you write that shit down, what, what you did work, what he did work, right? But when you write that shit down on paper, what, and actually, what you did didn't work yet because we didn't do it. When, when you write that shit down on paper... No, it worked. No, no, it worked. I got the answer. It worked because you got the answer, but I said it didn't work, it didn't materialize because you didn't do it. Because Tesla could do that shit all day, write the question down on paper, get that shit in the morning, but if in the morning when he don't get the no. answer, he do it. No. That should just be a thing on a piece of paper. A magic I trick. understand what you're saying, but <laughs> what I'm saying is this. That's the next part. It's always, that, that, that's, that's the whole point. That, it that, goes, that, hang, that, that, take, put, two it, to, take one step towards God, take two towards you. That's putting now... That's Faith I, without works is dead. No, no, but what I'm saying <laughs> is this. I didn't have to put no effort. All I had to do was to ask, and I got the answer. No, now I'm that not I got the that. answer, now I got to materialize the answer in the third dimension. You know, to go to your whole point. I know exactly what you're trying to say, but I'm not saying it's, it's the saying. first step, that the second step, baby. and then you got to go. Going back to your point with the basketball. The first step is that what you did, the Tesla shit. I want to be a basketball player, basketball player, basketball player. You start hitting the ball outside. Next step is the other step I'm talking about now. Go. If you believe in what you want, you outside going. And the thing about it is, is it. guess what? It's not go once. It's go, 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 go. Until you're a 24-year vet in the fucking NBA. But I guarantee you this, though. If you command what you want to exist in, that shit lights a fire inside of you that from that first day after you command it, you'll go, 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 go. Now, what you say comes about. You know, if I'm going to be honest. One second. What you say comes about on Friday. I don't want to do this shit, man. That's what you say come about now. Like, fuck that. I got to go. The days that come... When there's days when you want to work out and there's days when you don't. Mm-hmm. There's days when we want to do this and there's days that we don't. Oh, yeah. There's days when I want to mix music and there's days that I don't. But the days that you don't is the more important than the days that you do. It's like and it's more and it's more than the days that you do. Right? Why? It's like path the least resistance is very tempting. It's like when you're in a situation, right? It's easy for somebody to help you when they up. Well, you know somebody really truly care is when they're not up and you're like, yo, my nigga, what, what's up? What you need? What you got? You understand? Because it's easy to do when you up. I tell my show you that all the time. I tell my wife that all the time. It's easy to believe. It's easy. Things going good. You know, going yeah. Bad. When it's hard, you have that faith yeah. and have that steely eye. Yeah, when I'm happy, when I got all, when I, when, when, when the money's flowing exactly and it's not a stagnation in the money, the money's flowing more like water and shit. And I'm running outside back and forth. And there's the days that you're going to ask me and I'm in that mode and you, she asks me to do things and I, and I may have a little attitude or whatever because I'm in my own mode. But the thing I always tell her is, do I ever, do I not do it? I always do it. But, and that tells more about 
the person when they're willing to do something for you when they don't want to do it. It's like what you said. It's when you're willing to work out, when you don't want to work out, it's more involved than that when you're willing to do it. Anybody want to do something when it's easy for them to do it? Who the fuck don't? In a sense, from the time I got this morning, like I said, I, like, I, like I told my show, I got them on days off. They don't want days off for me, literally. Because when I'm like, this, it's my day off, but like, I've been working since I got up, doing things. My other podcasts, getting editing, this, that, and the third. Fucking working out. Like, so from the time I got up in the morning, I probably stopped around like 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock. I'm like, so it's like, and that's what it has got to be. But the reason I know that is because I'm willing to sacrifice all this bullshit time that I had. Not bullshit, it's cool. That I had all my life. I know what it's going to bring. I know what the fucking, a fool, get fool prizes. You know. I know what it's going to bring. So I'm willing to sacrifice all the things I know for the thing I, for, for something else I know. Because you know. But it's a, it's a better knowing. It's a better feeling. Because so you, when I'm ready to relax, I can relax him the way I wanted to relax. The way, going back to what my man said, the way I've always pictured it. Because the evidence of belief has been proven to you. That if you continue down your journey, no matter what, that's why it's so important for you not to look at success based in money. Because when you don't ever get the money that you want, you believe that you're not being successful. But if you continue down the journey of what you want, Either you get what you want, or the Phil Jackson theory comes in. It takes you on a beautiful trip to some place you didn't think you was going to go. Why should, last question is, yeah. why should people believe? Why should we believe, I'm going to say, why should people believe is this? Simple. Why should people believe is that, is, if you don't believe in something, something will believe in you. Meaning, like, just because, you ever heard the quote, going to the understanding, like, if you don't believe in the devil, the devil believe in you. Like, just, if you don't believe in something you just flowing through life, life is going to handle your ass. <laughs> life, you think life stops and life's going to crave you and feel bad and not put bad things your way and it's going to get getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And Andrew Tate said some real shit. He said, life is either the most ruthless shit in existence or is the most giving thing in the universe. I don't know exactly what he said. It depends. What you put out, what you put out is what you get back. Whatever you put it out, the universe the universe rewards. God rewards the bold. Remember what my Tupac said what it says in the Bible? God bless the child that can stand on his own. Like, God bless the child that God will bless the child that can hold his own. God is own. We the one. Now I mean for what I say that God like and I understand what that means. So when you start holding your own in the middle of those ways, you start getting blessed, you start getting yes. help. Yeah. But when you Beef about you capable, you got ten toes, ten fingers, you breathe, you wake up in the morning, you got eyesight, you got vision, you got this, you got energy, you're not fucking mobile or beast, you're not anorexic, you got all the equipment to change your situation, make you better, but yes, you want to mope. You know why? You want fucking God to favor you? You wanna know why though? You wanna know why, right? The reason but why you should believe, not for mm -hmm. why you should believe in a nutshell is that belief is what gets you up in the morning. Belief is gonna get you through the day. And belief is going to keep you growing to become the best version of yourself possible. And I'm going to say this again. It might sound crazy, but one could argue. If you're not living up to your best self, you best. are selfish as shit. Because when you live up to your best self, some, somehow, somehow you're going to give back to the all. And we have a whole bunch of niggas that giving back to the all. They are, but they're giving back the same negative experience to yeah. the all. They're giving back the sit energy, the low frequency. Shit energy, low frequency energy, and all you're making is the consciousness become a low vibration frequency. That's what why, I believe. Why one job swapping should believe? I believe that people should believe because belief creates everything. The problem, this is what you said. I, if you don't believe, life will handle you. Why? Because understanding this. Belief is visual, visual, visualization and the imagination. Understanding that once you believe, you start to be able to create the world that you want to live in. The reason why, and here's, so it's not ooh, mystical for people. The reason why life handles you is because you're now living in somebody else's perspective of life. They visualization because they have the, they at least in control of their consciousness and then a conscious state where they're creating a world that it's they so want to live in. It may said. not be the world you want to live in, so life is going to handle it. Let me pay back what you just said, which is so deep. 
why people feel so out of control and so like because they live in somebody else's reality because you are out of control yeah. somebody's puppeteering your life yeah you live in somebody else's reality you live in somebody else's reality you're not living yours your so that's reality. what you feel so uneasy out of control right. and low frequency that's why life is handling and then once you take control like you said no matter if you're rich poor you get a sense of clarity and peace because you realize oh shit everything's up to me and then you start becoming the author of your own book because a lot of us I'm keeping treated G real with you and I'm not talking no brandy on stage. I'm me included at it for a long period of my life. A lot of other people wrote my chapters. I'm not talking about the powers that I be all the time. I'm talking about friends, yeah, family, everybody, everybody dictating yeah, how you should live, how you should be, think. Yeah. So teachers, lot, in school, teachers in school, parents. Everybody. So a lot of people wrote a lot of my chapters. Right. And like I just told my big bro earlier, I said, this is the, and I'm not lying, bro. And it, I'm, not, I'm not where I really want to be yet, but I'm going, and I know that for a fact. Bob, this is the most clarity I've ever had in the me, me being born, me being wrestling around the line. Ever. Yeah, because I'm clear. Me too. I'm not scared no more, no more. I don't I'm not about, mad about failure. I don't give a fuck how much views I see. It's not gonna stop me. Episode 27. It's gonna be episode 107 just now. Yeah, it's not gonna stop. Because, because you know why? It's not gonna stop because I ain't literally. Because I believe. I believe. <laughs> In the outcome exactly. of what I'm doing, and not only that, uh, not only that, I came to the point in the conclusion after living life 40 something years the way I live life that, well, you know what? That was not a bad journey. You know what I'm saying? I've been blessed. I've met a lot of interesting people, a lot of heroes. You know what I'm saying? I met a lot of different, you know what I'm saying? I, mean, I was born into a blessed family. You know what I'm saying? My father is a great man. My stepfather was a great man, so I seen a lot of different things, and I went a lot of different places. So I said, now, and I did that, and I and I was blessed with that. The majority of it, unconscious, just going off the subconscious, the subconscious going, but of what I've been taught from your parents and schools and shit, because they don't know no better. You know what I'm saying? And then after. Somewhat towards my life, I started becoming kind. I mean, I was I had conscious feelings, but now I'm starting to execute them. I said to myself, now, the next 40 years of my life, you know what I'm saying? However left I got long on this planet, I want to live it being wrong. You understand? And because no man should get up and live their life the same way, or woman, the same way for the rest of their existence till they die. The most beautiful part about this, before we go into the next topic, which is perfect, which is love. But the craziest part about this, and I'm not trying to be savvy or none of that corny cool shit, is it's like, yo, every day I wake up now, every fucking day I wake up now, first of all, I like waking up early. I'm not even going off now, I wake up early. I like getting the day started. I like to waste no more hours. I realize 24 hours a day, you get a lot yeah, done. It's too short. So you got to continue. And you, you get, get a lot done in 24 hours, though. But, like, the thing about it is this, man. You can create every day the way you want. Now, probably that's an extreme. But you have to be in we have to be a realist as well. You're going to get to a point. But I'm going to give y'all niggas the tool. Having faith is knowing, right? So you know something is ahead. You're waiting for something. Something is there. It's like, it's like Christmas. Christmas baby. My big brother gave me Jinx like Christmas, Jonathan. baby. Jonathan gave me this room. My brother Jinx. He was on the show. He gave me his jewel. He said, yo. He said, yo, way back in the days when he was playing football, he was talking about aspirations. He said, yo, bro, it's like Christmas. He do you worry about Christmas every year? I said, nah. He said, why? He said, I know it's coming. It's 7 31st every year. 7 31st. I'm sorry, 7 31st every year. And he said, exactly what he said, exactly what your dreams is, bro. It's Christmas. So you gotta wait the year and you can be excited. You want the gifts. So you gotta be you gotta excited every year. single day. You gotta be excited gift. every single day. And here's the kicker. That's how the energy you know that you really and want. And here's the kicker. And I also got this you from. Gotta feel it. You gotta you feel it. And yeah, I also got right, this. Mom, the PS5. I'm going to get it. I know I'm going to get that PS5, baby. And I, and I, also, and I also got this from playing sports. I asked Santa, which is you know, your God. I asked Santa for it. You believe, baby. And I, I, I also got to be playing sports, right? And I'm putting all these dreams together. This made me the person I am now. When you're a boxer or football, especially these sports, when you use a long period before, football is a week of training for one game. Boxing training for like six months for one fight. Prepare yourself for the arena that you expect to play. I'm gonna say that again. 
Prepare yourself, and I didn't expect this from Texas from nobody, I'm calling this phrase. Prepare yourself for the arena you expect to play. No, you got a championship fight in six months. What are you gonna do in that six months? Eat cheeseburgers, not work, and not change your diet, not train? Every day, work on yourself. Make yourself better you every you day. Exactly. So oh! So don't jump ahead. Careful. Careful don't jump ahead on my own jewel. Because what you think. Hold up. Don't be jump ahead of my own jewel. Don't jump ahead of my own jewel. He's doing that a lot lately. You'll jump ahead before I even jump ahead. He said it right there. He ended on shit perfectly. You know why? Because going back to what my man says. Your power of mind is strong. Let's say you got the strong power of mind. You're thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking. It might take a little longer without the action. But it's coming to you. It's going. And then when it comes, are you prepared for it? No. Opportunity wasted. Like a -Bon said. Um, as Eminem said. Uh, and, um, what's it called? Um, lose Yourself. Yeah, one of my favorite rap Fucking, songs. One of the greatest rap songs ever this, made. Yeah, this, this, this might be your only chance to blow. Nigga, like, and you gotta even, lose yourself in the moment. You gotta make sure. And even on the other. Look, preparation is timing. Equals Prepare love. yourself for the arena you wanna play in. And even still, you gotta Prepare understand. Yourself. You wanna be a singer, sing your dick up every day, make songs, do this, perform. And Prepare be yourself. sure. Key thing is this. Be sure. Wanna play in the arena. That's your download. Be sure you want to be a singer. That's why it's done. Be sure you want to be a boxer. <laughs> be sure you want to do these things. Be sure that's in your download and not somebody else's that you incorporated into you. You why? Because be careful what you ask for. So take for instance, you want a bad, bad chick. She got to be the bad, you know me, a bad bitch. Now you got this bad girl, now you with her. She dressed a certain way, but she's still a good girl. She dressed a certain way, but you can't take the attention that comes when you're with her. Then you should have never asked for that. Or you want to be a family man, now you got the family like last night. You know, my son is teething, so he's giving us a hard time. And you know what I'm saying, and he's not going to sleep. And, we, and I said to I said to Rose, I said, you know, son, this is, this is what comes with being a parent. And when you ask for kids and you want kids, this is what comes with it. So we got we, we take it and we Keep deal with it. Good with the bad. You got, so, so we deal with it. This is the task, you understand? He's new to this universe, he's new to say, this world. Not new, but new to this dimension. And go back to what we said, there's never no feeling. I said take the good with the bad, and I, 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 I correct myself, I'm wrong. Yes, because it's not there's bad. There's never no bad. First tooth coming, right. he's teething, you're seeing the it's creation. Yeah. Again, it's creating. He's, he's turning he's, into he's, us. He's becoming a full conscious being, and yeah. you're part of it. That's fucking yeah. beautiful. And like you said, and you know what's the realest quote? Again, I learned from everybody. I forgot who said this, I don't want to say the wrong person. Andrew Tate. No, no, Andrew Tate. Um, it's my um, that hundred ways to uh, hundred ways to motivate yourself. But I forgot his name. I, I'm after, I have to remember this guy's name, man. I listen to his book only every almost every day. But he said, when you when, when you talk about beautiful things and great things, it's always hard to create a painting, to create a fucking a great mix, to create great music, to create a to be to create a great uh bridge or. A great masterpiece. It's always hard. So, and so, what makes you think creating a masterpiece of yourself is not going to be a hard fucking journey? It's going to be hard. Think about everything that's created to create the skyscrapers. Niggas is dying. Every time, everything that's a masterpiece or great is hard. Even right now. So to even internally fuck your goals internally make yourself yeah, a better person is going to be hard. Bro. Yeah, because like even right now I'm trying to create a beautiful family structure. That's hard for me. Only because I'm so used to being wrong. And it's like you just said just now, and that's, a, that, that's what made it resonate to me. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you, let me tell you come up with a deal to our check the time. So, like, why I say that resonated with me because when you said some people died building the, the, the Brooklyn Bridge, the skyscrapers. skyscrapers, and stuff like that. Why? And, and so, in this process to me to become this person that's better for. My family. I, I, I did. A lot of I me is dying. I, I'm not gonna. I lot, but a lot but, of me is dying. But I consciously did that, son. But it, I consciously killed a lot too. of my old self off, and I love my old self. And you got me to this point, but I don't need you no more. Yeah. So what, I, what, I, say, and what I've realized. What I've realized. What I've realized, and, and maybe you realize this too, so maybe it's not be something for other people. I realized, like, like I was telling that young dude today, like, you got to prepare for the different versions of yourself. Cause you're always gonna be different versions of yourself in time going on. You ain't the same baby, or when you hit four or five, or when you hit ten, or eighteen, or um, then you know what I'm saying. Then you, then you in your thirties. The thing about it is this: you gotta prepare for each version of yourself, right? 
So, but I, what I learned is this, though, right? As I'm killing off these different versions of myself, I realized this. To create the ultimate version of myself, what I have to kill off is the negative aspects of the old versions of myself and keep all the positive aspects of the different versions of myself that I've met through my life. Because now that I'm conscious of me, myself, and I, you know what I'm saying? I'm, now I'm like, okay, Ron at 10 with the imagination, at 5 and 10 of the imagination and the belief. We gonna keep that. Ron at 15. You keep the things you want. Right. And the things you don't that, 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 at 13 and 14 was experiencing playing ball, learning how to box, writing his rhymes. I'm gonna I'm keep that person because that's the creative and the imagination person. And the person who was the hustler, I like the hustler. I don't like what he, I don't like the other aspects. I'm gonna keep the, the businessman of him. And you, you understand what I'm I saying? Understand. So I'm killing off the negative aspects from the old personalities and bringing the good personalities of that aspects into this. Cause like I was telling you the other day, all we doing is acting. Of course. So you need to take good quality. Create the role you want to create. create the role that you want to create. This character I, I, I see right now, I, I, I constantly created before I became, that's a fact, everybody does it. But to finish it off, why you should believe so belief is the engine to keep you going. It's belief is gonna make you a better person. Belief is the imagination every of your life. But that was fucking belief. And one more thing before we go, that's belief. And they, and it's a, I think it's a powerful. Don't quote me on it, but I know for sure it's the same. That only the ones with the childlike minds will enter into heaven. And without belief, you have no imagination. Without no, and it don't mean acting like a child. It means believing and have the imagination and, also, and dreaming. And also, and that's before, the and that's the belief. If y'all don't believe imagine belief. If y'all don't think imagination is important, look around your room, look around your Everything car. Everything was a thought. Look around the world. Everything you see, touch, smell, and taste, if it wasn't organic, was created out of the imagination. And then, everything that's organic created out of the imagination and of the everything is, And everything that's organic is created out of the God's imagination the of the, uh, uh, And God's the ultimate creator. So there's your motherfucking proof. And that's belief.